Okay, so I noticed that a lot of people from a um, a previous video, this one, this one, well, I'll pull up on screen. Boom. That video there, a bit of tier list, just to get an opinion out to see, uh, to tell you guys how bad I think this tank really is. And it was done with a tier list thumbnail like. And I did not actually put a tier list in the video. It was just over two gameplay. And a lot of people got mad at that. Sorry about that. I did not even think it was clickbait. I just had an idea, ran with it. I thought this is good. Let's go with it. Um, yeah, a lot of people got mad in the comments. I apologize. I didn't think about it. I can see how it'd be annoying though if you expect a tier list. I didn't say it in the, in the title or anything in the description, but I do get it solely based off of the thumbnail. So again, sorry. So I thought, why don't we just do a tier list? Let's do a tier list. The um, season is almost over. So we'll do this before the new season starts. Some of the lighting as well. Um, yeah, don't ask questions. Okay. I did delete this here, but I actually wanted to get it back. Um, because I did, I did, I, I just raided Doom and Diva, and I think that I needed map back. But we start with Doom again. A Doom, he is quite easily stopped. That's the thing, his whole kit is surrounded by his abilities. If you miss you, if you miss one of the abilities, probably your punch. He's kinda kinda cool. You need to hit your punches. And then again, it doesn't really do that much. Uh, you need to you, I feel like you need to punch, get powered punch, and then leap, baby. I don't know. Um, and his ultimate is horrible. I'm gonna be honest, it's probably one of the worst ultimates in the game alongside with Bastions. It does all, I'm gonna be honest. Every time I use it, I feel like it does nothing. But you can have good games on him. And when you get good games, man, he feels like he's one of the strongest characters. That is, of course, when they don't mega counter you, which he's easily countered and easily uh, killed, I think. So we'll put him in meh. I don't want to say he's bad. Actually, we'll do bad. I'll not, we'll do bad. He is bad. I think Diva is probably one of the strongest tanks um, to, to play you can use, and that's solely because of DM. The, the, the fact that you can just get rid of any projectile in the game is really, really strong. But what a lot of people are th what, what I think a lot of people are struggling with, with Diva and making her useful properly useful is managing DM. If, if she doesn't have DM up, she is quite easily she's really easy to get out of DM. Uh, it's really easy to get out of mech, sorry. But I think she is good. I don't think she's a meta, but I think... I think Diva's really good. I, I, okay, Jungle Queen. I don't think I've seen a lot of Jungle Queen this season. I think Jungle Queen is... Uh, it's because her ult is it's just stopped easily. You know, you can go Kiriko and Susu it. It's, it's, it's gone. You know, one ability counters her whole ultimate. I don't know. Her E is strong, I will say. If she if she hits someone with knife and E, it's strong as crap. Yeah, I would, I'm not swearing here, buddy. Um, but she's just I thought it was easily stopped. I feel like it's just it's just okay. I think she's she's good. She's not bad. She's not insanely good. She's not great. She's not amazing. She's just good. Orisa. Um. Honestly, I haven't had that many problems with Orisa this season. Last season, it was horrible with Orisa meta. Last few seasons. But this season, I didn't really feel it. Uh, she's still annoying. She still doesn't feel great to play against. She's still really strong. Um, but I think, I feel like she is she's easily stopped. Easier stopped, at least. I don't feel like she's been that much of a problem. But how is she as a tank? I think... I still think she's amazing. So she's just too strong. Her her E, if you manage her E, her shift and her right click, like her spear, her fortify, and then her spinny spin, it's just she just becomes invincible. It feels like okay, Ryan. I'll put Ryan. No, I just I mean I feel like he's almost the same as Doom. No, no, no I, actually, he's he's better than Doom. He's better than Doom. Um. Yeah, he, he, he feels like he gets more value sometimes. It's nothing crazy with Ryan. We all know Ryan. He Everything counters him nowadays. Um, not that crazy. He definitely needs some buffs. Yeah, usually, like right now, Orisa Marga is the, uh, it's the meta that we're usually seeing. Maybe a little bit of RAM. And they kind of just bully Ryan uh, right now. Uh, Ryan is not like, in a good state. He definitely needs something. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. yeah. 
to easily stop, like, Rodor. Yeah, so I think it was actually Orisa, Marga, and Rodor, that's the meta, not Ram, um, I forgot. Like, okay, I'm, almost, I'm Plat 2, you know, I'm not Diamond. Okay, I'm playing White Group, I'm never, I'm never ranking up. I'll be honest, I can win 7 games in a row, and I'll never rank up. I'll get 5%, whatever. Game with your bad shut up. Okay, but Roadhog, um, I feel like he's borderline meta. If Roadhog is, it's crazy hard to kill him. You have like Suzu, maybe, maybe Lamp, uh, Baptiste, like Kiriku and Bap, and he becomes unkillable, and he can just roam free, kill anything he wants, hook and kill, and it's just, he's so hard to stop. He, he, he's, he can actually battle, he's the one of the tanks that can somewhat battle Morga. No Morga counters Roadhog, but uh, sometimes Roadhog, it, like, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's probably one of the better matchups. Always Morga, he kind of, I feel like he kind of stomps everyone else, but Roadhog can kind of battle them. So I think Roadhog is meta. I'll, I'll, I'll leave him there for now. Nothing, nothing crazy. Well, yeah, it's actually the craziest we can give him, but... I haven't done, done a material list like this properly before. Maybe I'm yapping too much. I'm sorry. But if you enjoy these, then you should subscribe. Oh, come on. Already. Do you enjoy my yap? Do you agree with any of this? Do you not agree? Say it in the comments. Come on. Let's get it going, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sigma. I don't think Sigma is a meta, but I do think he's amazing. Mm, is he amazing or just great, actually? Uh, I, I feel like every time I play Sig, he becomes the strongest tank. Nah, he doesn't become the strongest. Always a bit meta. But he becomes such a strong tank that I, I just... His barrier you can put anywhere. His his rock, you can stun someone. His high damage, his his shift, it's just... It's just really, really strong. And he can generate shield. And his his ultimate is just, all in all, a, such a good character. That, uh, I mean, the reason I, I mained him, alright? <laughs> Buddy, I still main him. I'll actually, I think I'll put him in amazing. Yeah, he's he's better than great. Now, Wintorn, Wintonio. Um, a dive is not really present that much because of the Marga or Rissa Hog meta, but I do like Winston a lot. It, it's either good or great, but I, I almost feel like it's great. Um, the thing I'm I'm judging him on is if you're going full dive. Which is Winston. I, I don't know. I have seen some good Winston games and I played some, you know, some good Winston games this season. And if there was a thing between good or great, I put him there. So this is a bit difficult. He might just be good. We'll put him in great for now. I don't feel that doesn't feel right, does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Ball, I might just put him in horrible. I have seen so many ball players recently. We will win a game. We'll win. We'll curve stomp the other team so hard that they want to cry into the baby mummies. Into the mummies. And then my tank all of a sudden decides to go ball and we get rolled. Um, of course, it's ball. I don't know. He's about creating space. I feel like it's not actually about really getting the kills. It's about being annoying in the back line. A little bit like Lucio. Um, until you can pick someone off using that. But it's just, it, he's just, as a character, he's just not great. I'll be honest. It's just bleh. I don't know, people said in the comments, um, but someone got top one rank using ball. That doesn't mean anything. Anyone can get top one rank. Why do you think they get top, why do you think they got top one rank? Because they're the best at what they do. At the guy they play. Anyone, like, that's not, that's not, that's not logic. You can't use that logic anywhere. Um, anyone could be not number one, the best tank. I'll just leave him at horrible, because he's dog water. Saria? I think, um... I think Saria is just great. And she's not super strong, she doesn't feel super, super strong. But she, she's just good for countering, I feel like, if you want to counter someone. Um, if you want to counter John Queen, you want to counter Sigma, you know, you can do it. But the thing is, just don't shoot Bubble. Right, she becomes pr pretty, pretty useless. Almost impossible to do in some situations, and she will most likely get value. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I mean, she's strong, but she's also just great. I think that's nothing crazy. Um, yeah, I think she's great. She's better than good. 
I'm yapping a lot. Uh, I'm not, am I speaking too much about an individual one? I, I'm just kind of saying my piece. Maybe it's too much. Maybe it's too little. Ramatra. Um, Ram is either great and or amazing. I feel like he can easily be stopped in his tracks in form at least. Sleep him, pin him, punch him, even anything really. So that's the thing. Are we putting him in great or, or amazing? He is strong. Super, super strong. Good old, good abilities. Good sustain. Good crowd control. Is he amazing? I do feel like he's built in Saria. So we'll put him in amazing. And then we all know Marga. Meta. We all know that. Right? You're losing, go Marga. Right, that's that's the thing. You 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 about to lose, just go Marga. Um his all doesn't feel great to play against. You just kinda oh yeah, stop. Can't use your abilities, anything. Just good luck. And then an unstoppable charge, uh, you can't stop it, hello, it's in the name. I think that is stupid. I don't know why they made an ability that's unstoppable. I get it, it's for the character, right? But I think they should have done something else. I don't like the ability. I think it's too strong. The fact that like, like the fact that Reinhardt, a, a fucking one ton armor guy, he's in a suit with jet thrusters under his back, can't stop a guy. Running. Mother Stupid! Hello, how does that make any sense? He can't charge it, pin him. Yeah, we'll just ignore it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's strong heals. If it's, it's the same as Roadhog, he sometimes feels fully f unkillable. Because he can heal himself, and he can heal himself. Maybe there's a correlation between that. Maybe they stop giving him abilities to heal themselves, bro. I think that is the tier list. What do you think? Do you agree or do you disagree with any of these tanks? Um, I'm uncertain if I yap too much. Let me know if I should do this again, and again, and again, and maybe again. Please, Lord, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video. Uh, uh, yeah, goodbye.